नमस्ते एवरीवन रोहित हियर फ्रॉम इंडी वन अप एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी पार्ट टू ऑफ फ्रीसिंग मॉड वीडियो दैट आई डिड फ्यू मंथ्स अगो पीपल वर हैविंग कंफ्यूजन रिगार्डिंग दिस एंड वर हैविंग डाउट्स सो आई डिसाइडेड टू डू दिस लाइव दिस टाइम एंड आई विल क्विकली मॉड इट विथ माई कैमरा रिकॉर्डिंग इट सो दैट यू नो इट वर्क फॉर श्योर ऑल्सो आई विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग सम काइंड ऑफ प्रूफ इन एन ऑब्वियस मैनर सो दैट देर रिमेन्स नो डाउट For those who do not know my system configuration, the display that we are using here is LG C9 OLED, and the graphic card is Radeon RX 580. Now let us begin with the doubts. The top question was: Is this method safe? And if I delete the resolutions for making space for FreeSync block, then how am I going to add it again? And to answer it, I would like to add: Remember that this is driver modding. and that two for only one hdmi port so once you switch the cable to different port then you need to do that again and your settings do not affect when you connect to another device like playstation or any other entertainment system so the deleted resolutions do not carry over to the other entertainment system this is why this freesync mod doesn't work for xbox or playstation since we can only mod it for pc and that too for a single port if you need for multiple ports you need to follow the mod multiple times also if you go anywhere wrong and wish the settings back you can always reset the cru by using the reset dash all dot exe and it is in the same folder where you extracted the cru package Also a driver reinstall will help for sure just in case if anything goes really wrong and that is going to be the worst case where you need to uninstall the driver this is why this mod is completely safe as that is only a driver level mod and we are not modding the tv itself we are just modding the drivers inside our pc second question was related to the tv itself and it was does this freesync mod works without instant gaming response or not and i would like to differentiate the g sync and freesync here the g sync support that nvidia added to this tv is a g sync compatible one and that requires the tv itself to support hdmi forum vrr that is variable refresh rate but the freesync that we are going to add does not requires vrr supports so we do not even need that instant gaming response time or that deep color setting to be enabled first in order to access freesync on this tv and here is a live proof that is going to make sure that you know that it is working without that option turned on and as you just saw that it is working for me without that option turned on so it should work for you too you can clearly see from the demo that by disabling the free sync it is tearing without free sync on one question was whether in this particular demo that g sync checkbox needs to be checked or not then i would like to tell you that this particular demo doesn't know if we are using it to check free sync capability and hence checking that box basically puts you in a non v sync category as you can see so that is completely useless you can use freesync without even checking that box and by enabling gsync you do not enable the freesync you need to enable freesync from overlay and that particular application will automatically apply the freesync settings also let us switch to the other test which will make it more obvious to see the tearing lines
Now let us enable the free sync from the overlay. And as you can see, the tiering went away even with the no vsync option checked. There is no tiering in the vsync or no vsync option. Once you disable the free sync in the overlay again, the tiering comes back. Now my final claim was that with this particular free sync, we can enable the HDR option too to make it free sync pro. And for that purpose, I'm going to use Borderlands 3 game that supports HDR and we are going to use FreeSync in that game too to show a small demo of HDR and FreeSync working together in tandem. A really good indicator that HDR is turned on here is the change of color that MSI Afterburner was showing. As soon as it turns to red, the HDR support is turned on in the Borderlands 3 setting menu. Now moving on to another request, we have a 120 FPS slow motion recording request and, and I decided to record at 240 FPS slow motion to make it even more evident for you guys. So this is going to be just another proof of FreeSync working in a really slow motion. If you would like to see that as I was watching it at the time of recording. You can download this particular section of the video or play it at 8x speed. Then you would be able to see exactly as I was watching it at the time of recording. That's it for this video. If you like such videos, do share and subscribe to my channel. Also have a look at my Patreon channel. The link is in the description.